style of football is the art of expressing yourself with the football through training, competing and performing. Innovation is the art of thinking outside the box and doing things differently and not being influenced by others. My name is Zach Roberts and I'm from Stratford, Victoria, Australia. freestyle football about three years ago from watching YouTube videos and then trying some of the tricks myself while I was playing football for a club and that's how I really got onto freestyle football through the years. The freestyle football community is a creative and open-minded community. It's not only accepting in people that are involved within the community, but also others around it. People train freestyle football, I believe, for self-satisfaction and also for being able to be creative in the sport they do. My freestyle could be described as creative and a bit diverse from other people's freestyle. My creative process behind creating new freestyle tricks would be watching and analysing other tricks people are doing in competitions or in their own videos. I like to try those tricks out and then like adapt little features onto them make it a bit different. I'm motivated by watching other freestylers training videos, watching freestyle competitions around the world and just knowing that I can get better at freestyle by training every day. Innovation is important to myself because it means that I can be different from others. People can identify my freestyle and me as a person aside from just yeah anyone else. Innovation is important within freestyle football as a community because without innovation, the sport would almost come to a halt. People wouldn't really progress in competitions and the sport as a whole would probably just sit still. So having innovation allows the sport to continue growing as different freestyles adapt new tricks and combinations and start pushing the sport more. The aspects that have caused freestyle football to grow in the community and in the competition sense would be certain sponsors hopping on board, would be the internet, people being able to share clips and different competitions like live stream globally. Would also be the factor of different other sports coming into contact with freestyle such as footbag and even gymnastics where freestylers can then adopt those different techniques within the freestyle. I see freestyle football in 10 years to have grown to new heights in different people who have taken the sport to a new level in individuals and the sport as a whole would have grown. Though I believe freestyle football will still be connected with that of regular football and won't be recognised from the public as its own individual sport. Personally, I would like to see freestyle football in 10 years to be recognised as its own individual sport. I'd like to see freestylers be given recognition down the street by the average everyday person as being freestylers and that hard work and effort that people put in and training would be recognised by everyone as being different from that of regular football.